Welcome to another edition of the Weekend Storage Warrior, where I try to show you how to make money as a small time buyer at storage auctions. So here's another quick video I made about a small storage unit that I purchased for $150. I was hoping to find jewelry, but instead I found a bunch of dolls. That's how it goes. Better luck next time. Way down at the end of the long hallway is the unit I just bought. It looked like crappy furniture, open boxes, uh, tossed, low volume, and you would say, why would you buy such a thing? bed at least it's not foam a big um, sofa because it has a huge jewelry box in it this is empty some of the guys were po poking through this and uh, I saw that it was empty so I'm not gambling that there's anything in it. But the idea is if there's one jewelry box, maybe there's more jewelry boxes. We will see in one minute. Here is box number one and look what I just saw jewelry we like jewelry we like silver and gold Take a quick peek through here. Don't see anything golden. Wait a minute, what's this? That is nothing. What's this? Nothing. Still, we're showing glimmers of hope. Glimmers of hope. Alright, now well, that's it for the boxes. There are some laptops. One, two, three, four laptops. Kind of old. And the rest is just going to be furniture. Christmas tree, empty. Oh, here's a dresser. Let's see what's in this little dresser. It's a nice pine dresser, I think. A box. A little kitty. More jewelry. Okay, we'll take this one with us too. Pretty sure it's all gonna be costume, but oh. oh, she was just teasing me, teasing me with her underwear and her earrings. There's actually quite a bit of jewelry in here, but none of it's gold. You can pretty much tell just by looking at it. In this box. There's a humongous Barbie. 
with the writing on the face. <laughs> Another doll. Hi, thank you for taking me out of this old dark box that I've been in for two months. So I'm looking at this. I think today I'm going to get the big sofa out of it and these three boxes and then come back tomorrow and get the rest. It's actually not a terrible looking sofa. I just jabbed myself on a nail on the bottom of it. <sighs> Ah, ah. Here's our first three boxes. I'll show you a little trick with jewelry if you want to do a quick test. Not gold. Not gold. Not gold. You can instantly rule out stuff that sticks to a magnet. That's Avon. I thought that might be silver, but it's not. Fun continues. Well, I got the sofa inside, so we had to move operations onto the patio. So let's see what's in these first three boxes. Well, that didn't take long. This is almost all trash. Um, there's my four laptops. Twelve cents. Some costume jewelry. Nerf shooter. Some kids' shoes that are dirty. Okay, so here we are the next day. I found a power supply that fits these Dells. It's actually a Hewlett Packard power supply. It doesn't like that. But it powers up. And out of the three Dells, only this one works. This is a 20 gigabyte memory. It has a bootleg copy of Windows 7, which is unfortunate. If this actually had the original Windows 98, it would be worth about $50. Uh, like this, maybe 25 The rest are scrap. And the place that pays a dollar a pound for those, but you have to mail them in. It's not worth it. Anyway, uh, I have reached an executive decision. Okay, so here we are back with the second load. Um, if I wanted to break this all up, I could reduce the volume quite a bit. Get some more trash in the same load, save 10 bucks. Uh, I'm totally jammed up here. I don't want to unload this and then load it again. Subject all the neighbors to the noise. So I'm just going to treat myself to a nice dump run. Sounds a little weird. Bye bye, dump. So, like I said, I could have squeezed a lot more trash into this load because I'm hauling stuff that I didn't throw away. But boy, did that feel good just to get that off my truck and not have to unload it, uh, load it all back on there again. Okay, here we are. About a week later, I'm looking at my sofa. I started at 125, nobody called, cut it to 80, nobody called, now it is at $40 on Craigslist. It's hard to sell big old sofas. 
with stains. I gave it to them for free and they graciously came here with a truck and a trailer and loaded it and took it away. So I just made a video and said don't buy units that have cheap furniture and low volume and open boxes. But did I listen to my own advice? No. So now we've got to get back the money on the smalls. In addition to a nice little bicycle that is outside, I have all these dolls. Five dollar stuff. Costume jewelry. Natural stone. This thing uh, works. Nintendo DS, although I had to make a homemade battery charger for it. This turned out to be a nice laptop. This one here works. It's old. So people buy these for parts online. People buy these to use them because it has Wi-Fi. That's a broken hinge, but uh, it's still that's still good for 45 50 bucks so we're gonna get the money back on this stuff hopefully and the sofa is gone right right and here we are again at the swap meet so I saw this dresser for 20 I saw that laptop for 20 and this is all out of this last unit Plus the leftovers from the one before. Naked Barbies. My favorite thing. Okay. Great. I also sold an old TV for 40. So we'll see how we do with these toys. I don't have my hopes up too high. We'll get out of here with 100 bucks today maybe. I uh, do have this jewelry. I don't have my helper who's good at organizing this stuff, but I'll get that organized a little more. See how we do. All right, here we are at 10 o'clock. Well, I managed to sell $180 out of this today, which means I made $150. I got back my $150. Dead of money. So I got my $150 back. Of course, this situation did involve a trip to the dump. Some of that $180 was from other merchandise. I'm still glad that I got my investment back, mostly. I've said this before, that uh, storage units with uh, cheap furniture and toys are almost never a good investment. And this one was no exception. One of these days I'll learn to listen to my own advice. There's a little more good news here. Uh, this laptop is old. And collectible for parts this Nintendo DS with the three games both of these are good candidates for eBay so there's another 40 50 bucks and we are almost done with this Alright, let's wrap this video up. So in this situation, uh, I broke even, basically. And you figure all the cost was about $200. I ended up selling $200 out there at the swap meet, $205. So I had a net prop, net sales of $175. And I'm going to make back a little more on the laptop and the Nintendos for a break-even unit. So that wasn't that great. Uh, 
I never like buying storage units that have kids toys in them I mean it's just sad there's no way around it of course it's not my fault that their parents put their Barbies in storage but it's still it's not my favorite thing so hopefully the next one we buy will be better I'm gonna stay away from the cheap furniture try to get some stuff that looks like it might have some value to it for a change and until then that's it for this movie and if you would like to learn how to make money in storage auctions, please feel free to buy a copy of my book, The Weekend Storage Warrior, available on Amazon.com. And that's it for this movie. Bye-bye!